All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, the giant. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to the ring. Oh, man. Table empty right there, boy. It was a good night at that land. Continues to 
to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big leg kick land. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Got a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. They, they continue to exchange. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big kick. Nice counter left hook to the head. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. What a Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. I mean, his shot's nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Round two straight ahead. Here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions 
from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big punch from the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands and with style points. Well done. Oh, a nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus spins. But instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Some nice back and forth action here. Whiffs on the right hand. Big kick. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Flush right hand is true. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch by Lee. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up that right hand, too. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the oh, best kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice kick. Ooh. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, Roundhouse, talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turns all the way around before he can face his opponent again. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. There, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Both fighters get up now. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice job of hiding that hip. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. 15 seconds. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. All 
right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch landed with so much power. Big head kick land. Misses again with a right punch. And they separate. Sneaky head kick. Oh, and there's the kick. That one checked by Lee. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch, man. And he continues to work the body here. Beautiful body kick. Oh, swing and a miss on the counters. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, nicely done with the head kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. That knee might have landed there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Real sneaky body kick. Massive head kick. Oh, big left hook there. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. To the body. Beautiful leg kick throw. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That one snuck in. Nice try. Head kick. Nice right hand. opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's going high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. You go back to right now and fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got it for Jerry Badley. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh! Nice loop with punch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. 
and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, big head kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. What a body kick. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had, his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Harris lands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him for a very bad head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Way to hide that leg. Back and forth we go. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice punch there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Real nice body kick land. Trying to double up on that jab. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on the feet right now. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. That right hand landed. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Beautiful body kick. Just unable to quite find that range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. in a single collar tie. He now connects with a right. Nice, sneaky head kick. Big knee lands there. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Big power shot there. All right, single collar tie now. Effective punch there by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of doing the head. It doesn't take much. But what a punch. Nice body kick. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. 
Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Leg kick. Got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbow side. Otherwise, you're gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. 20 seconds left. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. That's a big strike right there. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, we're losing this fight, but we have one round to turn it around. Fight like you've never fought before. This is it. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, thunderous leg kick on it. Limping a little bit, trying to stay up. Man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big kick land. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Straight punch lands. Beautiful head kick. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, Superman. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big body kick. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, good opportunity. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Wow. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Trying to get the knees going. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched right? I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart 
One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee, with authority, is your winner here tonight.